Okay, well, thank you for joining me this evening. Just a quick video uh, showing the Litchi app and something's called Interplate. Now, Interplate basically means that you can set the camera angle pointing from zero to minus 90, and as it gets to each waypoint, it will transition between the two settings. So, for instance, the first one is at zero, so the camera's pointing dead ahead. As it reaches the second waypoint, the camera will transition downwards towards a minus 20. As it reaches the third waypoint, it'll transition down again to the minus 40, and so on. Number four is minus 60, and the last one is minus 90. And then to finish the mission off, I port it back to number six, which is zero, so the camera should be pointing back up again. You'll notice that I've just got the quad to aim towards this tree in the middle. It's not, it's not a perfect mission, it's just something I threw together today so I could show you how the interplate function works. So let's have a look at the video. As you can see, the quad lifts off and you can see the, the height measurement here. This is the actual quad itself and these little blue ones are the waypoint settings. So as it reaches the 98 feet, that's say, see the quad rotates around to point towards the first waypoint. The initial takeoff uh, from the quad lifts up to uh, and then sends it up to the first waypoint. Quad then rotates around and as you can see now, as the quad starts to make its way towards the number two waypoint, you'll see the camera start to tilt. So around about now at this point the camera's reached minus 20, which is slightly tilting down. And as I've got curves on, it'll uh, obviously curve between the, the waypoints. Now at this point now, the camera now should reach uh, minus 40, so there should be more uh, tilt to the camera. And then passing waypoint 3 towards waypoint 4, and you'll see the camera will now start to tilt down towards minus 60. Now I think I've left obviously quite a large gap between waypoints, the transitions would be sort of closer together. But it just gives you a general idea of how the camera can be programmed to tilt down to a set amount. And as you can see, now as it's approaching now the last waypoint number 5, the camera is starting to go down into a full down position. And the quad is now pointing backwards from the direction it came in. You should see the goalposts any second now. Um, oh, there they are, there's the goalposts. And now the quad now will now return to the last waypoint where the camera should point back up to zero. Mission ended. There you go, as you can see the camera's now pointing back to zero again. So that's just an example of interplate. I mean it's by no means perfect. Uh, it's, it's my first time actually using the interplate function, but it just shows you uh, what the camera can do. I think I would probably shorten the distance between waypoints, another one in here, to bring the camera down to the the height, uh, the, 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 the gimbal angle uh, that I want the camera to be at by the time it reaches about this midpoint here. I just like the fact that you can you know you can have the, the app tilt the camera down so as it meets the waypoint rather than you have to do it manually um, looking at your screen thinking right about now to tilt it down you can say it obviously here for instance it would be at uh, full tilt down by the time it's number five you may end up tilting it fully down at this point here you know using this allows the the, the, the craft itself to tilt the camera down I don't really like it so I've got some more work to do on it I've also been having to play with point of interest that's another video that's going to be coming up in a little while uh, but for now, as always, safe flying, and uh, I'll see you again soon.